minus 50 seconds. T minus 40 seconds. T minus 30 seconds. minus 20 seconds. Coppish guys, good work the up. two legends, Emil Heskey, Howard, Howard Gell, can't get much better than that guy. Yeah. You know what to do now, like, comment, subscribe, I'm with legends guys! <laughs> We're delighted to tell you about one of our newest sponsors at SofaScore. That's right, we've partnered up with the highest rated live score app on Google Play Store and the App Store, so you can access all your football needs at your fingertips. You get live scores and notifications straight to your phone. You can also follow your favourite competition from a choice of 600, yes I said it, 600 tournaments from across the globe. Plus, if you get fed up of us discussing player ratings, you get real time so score ratings for each player. Not to mention heat maps, you can see where players really affecting the game. Shot maps, where are they taking shots from, where is Nunes going to score from next, attack momentum and a player's average position. Pause, pause. Follow your favorite players and look through the archives at different historical data as well. People, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description and download the SofaScore app or use the QR code on the screen that you'll see now and you'll be entered to a prize draw to win a Liverpool shirt of your choice. Once you've downloaded the app, send us a screenshot on social media or to our email, which is teamcoppish at gmail.com. Don't delay, download the Sofa Score app today. Hello, lovely people. Hope you're well. Welcome back to another Monday Night Live show. We are Team Coppish. As always, when we get behind the mic, please make sure you subscribe comment and like got some very good topics to discuss this evening two past masters one from the past and one from the present and future will they both be at liverpool next season only time will tell and in the event that we don't secure alonso as our manager who are some of the alternatives we should look at and are currently looking at man like matt drifty how are you brothers doing this evening not bad you know bro it's just it's weird about Premier League football and having to deal with the internationals that I just don't care about right now. All right, I'm going to say something controversial. Mm. Drift, you might be able to back me up on this. Having an international break, but having a fun Liverpool game to cover actually felt quite refreshing. I can't lie. Felt like I've recharged the batteries. Yeah, I... I, I know what you mean. I mean, I miss Liverpool, yeah, but Matt is Saturday. livid with me. <laughs> <laughs> if that's, if that's you, man, isn't it? That's you, man. The Caribbean push up face to the max. <laughs> no, if that's you, man, that's you, man, isn't it? No, did, you, did you catch Legends. the game, though, Matt? Did you catch the Legends game? I didn't. I saw just that's like snippets. I didn't see the whole game in it. Uh, that's I listened to some highlights, oh, to be fair. Like, me, me and Drift were saying Jar could still kite at this level. Man, like Stevie and. Like Bad, drifty yeah. was proper on the bandwagon with it as well. Like we both think he can he can still kite at this level. Like Drift How was, did even, saying, Drift was yeah. even saying he'd like swap him for Tiago in that. <laughs> I bet he, yeah, I bet, I bet. <laughs> how was thinking? How did Torres play? I don't really know who that is, bro. Oh right. we're still doing that, yeah. Doing what? Go and look, go and watch any game from his Chelsea career. That's how he played. <laughs> oh, raw. You oh, was raw. Why is everyone being so salty, man? Damn, Can man. I just ask? Just, 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 to go, just to go off on a real quick tangent. Mm. If 
Raheem Sterling came back in ten years' time and played a Legends game. Would would he be accepted by the by the crowd and all that? Well, going by your lot's Torres thing, no. So why has Torres just been accepted? Like I wouldn't say he's been accepted, but it's oh, been no, how... been no, 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 no. How much years no. have gone by? <laughs> Cheering him, everything. He's been. He's. He. he it's like he didn't even do. He, it's like he didn't do what he did. So. Drift, do you cheer Michael Owen? Who? <clears throat> <Hey>, me, <laughs> Drift <laughs> you took a gulp and acted like he didn't hear nothing. You know, Michael Owen. I don't, you've always... I don't. I just don't have hate for him because of what he did. But I don't cheer him. Do you hate Torres then? Yeah, he's the first player who ever broke my heart, 100%. So you hate Torres, but you don't hate Michael Owen. So you don't remember no. that Sky Sports News? I'll never forget, bro. Do you know what I'm mad, yeah? See that theme song they used to have back in the day, the Sky Sports thing, with the breaking news? Bro, I remember when it said, oh, Liverpool agree Hello, fee. Bro. Hello, little man, you okay? Yeah. Big up. Yeah? Up. Are you getting ready for bed now? Yeah. You are? Okay. Did you have a good day? Good day. Good day. All right. Say bye to Uncle Sam. Bye. All right. Go see, see you later. See, see you later. Tomorrow. Good night. Hey, close the door behind you as well, please. Um, I'll say this quickly. because what The reason I'm asking, though, is because both of them turn their back on Liverpool. Both of them. just Obviously, it's different Like in terms of Torres turned his back. It was adored by Liverpool, and it's, and we know how that ended, yeah? Michael Owen was the same thing, though. Michael Owen turned his back on Liverpool and decided for us to get Nunes and a bag of chips, bro. Like, like the fake, the fakest Nunes, Antonio Nunes, the fakest Nunes you've ever seen. And what's so nah, mad nah, is Michael got, Owen didn't even got, wait got, for Rafa. Got, to, got, remember, got, he saw Rafa. He went to Man United. Bro, he celebrated he went, at Man United. The real Madrid, no, no, no. We'll get onto that because the the bro the he went to he, Ra- ten years after he left Liverpool, man. Bro, Rafa Benitez he went joined and he same. said, "I don't care, bro." Ban Owen. Look, then. everyone's entitled to feel the way they want to feel. We've been over this a lot of times. Owen tried to come back to Liverpool three times, and all three times Liverpool said no. I don't care mm-hmm. about that. At the end of the day, no, but he was given, there was an agreement made that he'd be allowed to experience Spain so that he could have that experience of playing in a foreign country. So he wanted a whole back. pass. He wanted a and whole pass, bro. He, <laughs> and then he oh, said, for oh, United. To come back. So all I'm saying is, whichever way you want to spin it, he didn't abandon us or turn his back on us. He just wanted to experience something the same way Ian Rush did when Ian Rush went to oh, Juve. Different, different, different. Oh, Where no, Owen no, is no, Judas, no. bro. No, no, no. It's exactly the same. He wanted to experience a foreign country because he said he didn't want to end his career without that what if about playing in another country. It was Real Madrid, who we all say is the biggest club in the world, and then he was going to be coming back. Liverpool didn't want to bring him back by turning their back on a gentleman's agreement. Fair enough, it's only a gentleman's agreement. Who was the and then his career. Who was, was the agreement with? Oh. With who? With the owners of Liverpool. How can he have an agreement? And then Rafa blocked it. Even Carragher spoken about this. And then even Rafa blocked it and was like, I don't really care if hold he comes on, back hold, or not. Hold on, hold on, hold on, slow down. You're saying Mike alone had an agreement with, Rick with the club, but Rafa Benitez... Yeah, v- remember, Real Madrid only signed him on a two-year contract. Do you not actually remember that? And, and the agreement was that he'll come back to Liverpool. That they wanted to get rid of him a year early, so there was a fee involved. He asked Liverpool, Carragher even went to the owners and said, so what are we doing? Are we going to bring him back? And the owners and Rafa was like, I think the owners were willing to pay 10 million. I'm this no, I don't, I don't, I, I've never heard that in my entire life. Match it and Rafa didn't care. And Carragher tried to get Rafa to be in on it. Rafa was like, I ain't really bothered about this. Yeah. And his career had to go where it went. So yeah, at the end of the day... How would you say, same. God forbid, if one... Let's, I, I use my, my, me as an example. If I stay down, I was like, Griff. My missus, me and her, we broke up. And then in a year's time, she's like, she's, no, she got, this is what she says to me. She's like, I'm not really feeling it right now. I want to go and experience something else for a year. And then you'll take right, me back in a year, right? No, no, wait, no, no, no just, let me land it. <laughs> let me land it. She's like, let me go and experience something for a year. And then you'll take me back, right? I, I like a muggo. 
Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. You go and do your thing for a year. I'll, I'll be waiting here for you. Then in a year's time, hold on, buddy. Then in a year's time, Hello. like someone else tries to sweep off her feet, and she's like, ah, you know what? They they got more money than you, you know, Cal. I'm gonna just go there. I'm like, oh, raw. Then in the future, she gets with my worst enemy. Yeah, but speak, again, a relationship you well of her, you, man. Come on, man. It's not the same, bro. This Loads of football. Ian really Rush bad. literally went to Juve and came back. Sometimes people wouldn't experience foreign football so that they know what... Even Gerard himself said the reason he actually went to America is because he thought it might be something he'd regret if he never got to experience playing in another country and living in At another country. At the end country. of his career, he got bro. Out. Yeah, fair enough. Out. And he got forced out by Brendan, remember? No, but what I'm saying is, even Gerard still admitted it was a regret that he didn't want to have, that he didn't go and experience a foreign league. So what I'm saying is, Michael Owen wanted to experience a foreign league and then come back to Liverpool. That's why he only signed a two-year deal with Real Madrid, by the way, so he could come back. They just kicked him out a year earlier. I can't remember who they signed, but they signed somebody and then they, that's why that. they went. But that's his business, though, but in the sense of... Yeah, yeah, go, go. From terrible to Fernando Torres going directly to our biggest rivals at that time, which was Chelsea, to play against us in the same league. It is not even remotely similar, you lot. It's not even remotely Ross, do you know who, the, who, was, who was the manager when Torres left? Because he went to United, Drift. That's where it is. He went to United. Bro. No, who, I who understand the that being annoying. Trust me, I get it. But he did that 10 years after he left Liverpool. It wasn't a direct thing. He didn't do it straight away. Like, nobody cared about him anymore at that point. So why is everybody so angry he played for Man U when nobody cared about him? No Liverpool fans were singing his name or cared about him. But Liverpool and then, fans... To be like, you know what I mean? No, I get it. Never... Trust me, I understand it. Matt Busby played for Liverpool and Man United. Why don't nobody gun him? Like, I think people that just pick and... Decades ago, bro. They were not oh rivalry my. like that back bro, then. Bro, I was talking about when the telly was back oh, was. Maybe not like the Fergie invention no, of the rivalry. Man, bro. The rivalry bro, like that back then. Two, it's still the two biggest clubs in England. A man played for both, yeah? All I'm, look, all I'm saying is... Bro, if, if Who was the manager Michael, of Drift? God forbid if something happens to me, I need a lawyer. If you bet, I'm, I'm going to have you on speed, though. Drift. That's what I'm going to say. Who but my clothes, but it's not even remotely close to what Torres did. It's not even remotely close to what Torres did. Owen's worse, you know why? Owen is worse. Owen, Owen came true the live. My man came true the system, yeah. Let Adopted him scouser, the house, yeah. Bro. Adopted. Remember, him. come through the ranks, yeah. Knows the culture, everything. Torres is from Atletico, yeah. Atletico. Once coming through the Liverpool youth, bro. There should be more of a connection with Owen than it is for Torres. So even though, obviously, we're heartbroken that Torres left. Bro, for Michael Owen, surely he must be thinking, right, you know what, yeah? Rafa Benitez has just land. Stevie's still there. Let's see what... Let's, let's see what I go on. My man said, I'm out. Now, nah, but now, nah, I ain't waiting around. All right, look, all right let, 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 let me add That's this little... That's the simple little... way of saying it, about going back... That's the simple right, way. Right, you, you, add your, you add your bit and then we'll move on. We'll move yeah, on. Yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, when, when I was watching an interview with him, um, they asked him how he feels about not being a Liverpool legend in, in the fans' eyes. And he said that the reason he doesn't regret going to Man United is because he won the league. So he's not going to ever regret an accomplishment in his career. But the reason why he wasn't as bothered about going to Man United as he should have been is because every time he came back to Liverpool after he left, this is before he went Man United, he said he'd walk around the place and he'd never get cheered the fans didn't. It's, it's like he said he could already feel an animosity towards him for before he even went to Man United. Yeah, and to be honest, down, bro, he ran his to be honest, on purpose. Oh, did McManaman, no, very different, very different. Why, why is it always different? Because it's because always. Maka wanted to stay. Mac actually wanted to stay in a club with Messi and Maka around. No, that's yeah. facts, bro. That's actually facts. All right, I'm oh, just saying if if you weren't if you weren't getting no love before he went to Man United. Then that's probably why he went. That's all I'm saying. But no, no, no. But Johnny is the, just just the last thing. Literally, like you said, he didn't have to run down the it's because he ran down the contract run as well, bro. Eight million, Left us with bro. no bargaining whatsoever, bro. No oh, he didn't run down his contract. It just got to that point, and then that was oh, when it, he 
it felt about when eight, it, it was eight million and eight Antonio million Nunes. Nunes. Big man Michael Owen. Trent Alexander's only got a year left in his deal. We didn't say, we're not calling him running down oh his country. Oh my gosh, bro, are, are we, are we can please don't tell me you're comparing Trent to Owen. Well, get to the point where they've got one Owen, year left. In his Owen Trent. left, Trent's still Owen here. That's, we're going to have that conversation. But Trent is still here, bro. Salah's what only got doing? one year left. Oh, are we gonna say he's running down oh his country? Oh my days! You're better than this. Better I can't than believe they're using these man as, as the measuring stick. You're better wow. than this. Pause. You're better than this. But look, anyway. speaking of a team that we've known in the past, that is Real Madrid, who is in this conversation. Mm. They took a player from us back in 2009 called Xabi Alonso. He has now gone on to be maybe the most touted young manager in all of world football at the moment. And guess who's linked with him? team that he left in 2009 because we are losing a certain Jurgen Klopp however the other day news emerged that Bayern Munich were the favourites for his signature then conflicting reports have come out saying that is not the case and that Liverpool is still the favourites however Alonso is still looking at his options Matt I'll start with you on this one we've discussed this at nauseam saying that if we were advising Alonso we wanted to give him an easier life he, like Bayern Munich would probably be the easier challenge out of the two because he's probably guaranteed to win stuff there, especially with him being the manager. Yeah. However, we all said that Xavi Alonso doesn't seem the type who's just going to do that. He'll probably go where he wants to go as opposed to where he should go. With the rumours about Bayern Munich coming out, are you worried about Bayern Munich and their potential pull to get him? Yeah, because he's still Bayern Munich and... I, f I suppose they have a little bit of an advantage it being in the um in the German league with them. He can kind of see as well. He's played there. He knows the club as well. And that's the thing, because he's played for the club, I think it's that extra bit of gravitational pull, so to speak, that could bring him over there. And he's probably looking at them going, do you know what? If I want to try and win a Champions League next season... Bayern, they got players there. It just needs a bit of tweaking. Maybe bring some of my players over. Like, we got to keep it a buck, innit? A lot of the noise is coming out of Germany and a lot of noise is saying if he's going to leave Leverkusen, he is favoured to go to Bayern over Liverpool. But I've also read something that says Liverpool are still very, very much in the race and Alonso hasn't given us any indication that he's definitively going Bayern. And it's more about who can convince him. But I think the longer this goes on, I'm a little bit more worried and worried because I look at it like this as well. You see with Jurgen Klopp, and that's a different scenario. You just kind of want the person just to be like, I'm just going to go here. Like, I feel like someone that's trying to weigh up their options. I'm a little bit like, I just need him to say, not obviously we won't know this, but I just want there to be an indication like how they've got in Germany over in England that he wants to go Liverpool. But I don't think that at the moment. If I'm being realistic, bro, I would say 60-40 buying from how I'm looking at it and from what I'm reading. I don't know any right. insight information, but just going off it, the only thing that we're kind of holding on to is that whole he played for Liverpool and we still see him as like a legend, so to speak. So we're just hoping that emotional pull can kind of bring him over. But if we're being realistic, I do feel it's a little bit of an uphill battle. I never thought that at the big, like a couple of weeks ago. But I'm starting to get more concerned. All right, Drift, I'm going to come to you with a slightly different question. <clears throat> All the reports coming out of Sky Germany and from Florian Pet Pettingel. Again, no disrespect to him. I spoke about this on Friday. I'm not going to go over it. He is very much seen as the Bayern Munich mouthpiece in Germany from a sports media perspective. Is there a chance that he's doing this, one, to try and push Alonso and make Alonso and persuade him think more about Bayern Munich? And two, could he be doing this just to try and ruffle Leverkusen's feathers in an attempt for Bayern Munich to close that gap and potentially win the league and for them not to do a treble and go unbeaten? Um, I definitely think there's a massive possibility he's doing it to rattle him because obviously they're rivals at the moment. They don't want... I've, they probably know the league is almost over, but, you know... They're probably thinking anything can happen still because Leverkusen aren't used to this and they've never been in this in this position before. So I think he probably is trying to rattle him a little bit. Um, and I, I, I kind of understand why Jabby Alonso doesn't want to speak about it either because he has to have respect for Leverkusen. And with all, you know, with all due respect to everybody who who wants 
Javi Alonso to come Liverpool, including myself. What we want doesn't matter. Do you know what I mean? He's like, as in like what we want to hear, what we care about, whatever, whatever. He's got to have respect for Leverkusen. And if he wants to leave Leverkusen a legend, which I'm sure all managers do when they leave a club, he's got to leave them respectfully and he's got to leave them with a title. So if he starts flirting with other people before, you know, he's even left, it's bad, man. So... <laughs> <laughs> not laugh for you, bro. When the comments, I'm, right, I'm done. I forgot what I said. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna read. We gotta come. That is a link. Read. That is a link. I forgot I said this. You know. <laughs> Shout out to Rosenwood. He's gone. Fabinho was left on an island with a flashlight and a Zenon wall. <laughs> Matt about Fabinho playing in a, in a in a pivot with Curtis, October 2022. Right, nice. Facts. Facts. Matt, did you say those comments? I did, bro. And I listened. It's the facts, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro it's facts. A flashlight and a Zeno wall. Shout out to all the aliens people there. Trust me. If you know, you know. Bro, I, but we've seen Flacco. From, even from then, it, was, it wasn't looking good, bro. <laughs> Oh man! Shout out to John. So, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't personally think um, we should look too much into it. I think we should just wait until the summertime. Wait until he's finished with his mission that he's on at the moment, mm. and not even rule out the fact that he might want to stay and do a Champions League campaign with Leverkusen. Nobody knows. Wait, Nobody wait, knows. Wait, 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 wait! Hold that there! Hold that there! Hold that there! You're doing the most again, bro. You're doing the most again. Um, shout out to John Conway says, Big up Cal, Matt, and Drift. How are you? A good brother. How are bless, you bro. Are well you're blessed, bro. Hope you're blessed, man. Shout out to Emperor, um, who's just become a member. Big up yourself. And Big also up. left a super chat saying, Robocop live best episode of this channel. Ribs were gone. Robocop. Yeah, I just yeah, said yeah. something Remember about Murphy. Made joke about Kane and Murphy. <laughs> Uh, what was it relating to, though? <laughs> when Kane took his mask off and I said he looked like Murphy from Robocop. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember how we even got onto that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but... <laughs> um, shout out to Jaconio. He says, if Alonso isn't coming, Nagelsmann or Amarim. We're going to speak about that slightly later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, big up our brother Gaz in the building says F Torres, yeah. F Owen, F Suarez, scumbag school, Sturridge clear. <laughs> I am on board with that still. Um, right. Soren, shout out to Soren says, No way he is going to buy in. His wife is a scout and his kids were born in Liverpool. He is coming to us. Believe me. Big up, gents. Big up yourself, Soren. We haven't big seen up, this sir. brother in a while. Big right, up, big up, no beast. It's been a minute, bro. Oh, your world, bro. Trust me. Um, says I agree with Drift. We wait when titles are done. Yep, hear it, bro. Trust um, me. Ricky says, "Don't get way. Don't get why we still love off Torres, Judas." So I'm not going to say the last word. That that is a bit. Uh, that would be harsh coming from me. Um, Gaz says, "I thought." <laughs> <laughs> I thought Matt said something else. Guys is a madman. Guys is a madman. I probably prefer that to a flashlight. <laughs> Jamrock says Zabby stays oh. for another year and takes a Madrid job. Jamrock, man, you just are just oh, about to come up with that as a next topic question. So, Matt, I will stay on this topic that Jamrock's just brought up because I was just going to ask the question. Mm. We keep on saying or acting like Alonso's going to go this year and Drift alluded to it as well. He's got Leverkusen back in the Champions League. That's a that's a done deal now. Yeah, yeah. He's 10 points clear at the top of the league. I think they have, if I'm not mistaken, eight games left of the campaign. So... Obviously, they could still throw it away from here, but 10 get ten points with eight games left. You'd kind of say it's already in the bag unless something crazy happens. Again, him going to Bayern Munich after beating Bayern Munich with a lesser team, he might think to himself, well, what's the point? He may also be looking at going, well, the last manager who beat Bayern to the title was Klopp. He did a back-to-back -back title. Maybe I want to do that as well. Mm. 
is there a chance he stays, does want to play Leverkusen in the Champions League, does want to, sorry, want to play with Leverkusen in the Champions League, does want to try and do back-to-back in Germany and also wants to have another year which could potentially set him up going straight to Madrid and, and missing out Bayern and Liverpool? That's something that we can't ignore because I think, yeah, there is sort of like this notion that he most likely will leave this summer. But yeah, the more, like I said, the more and more this, this goes on, the more and more... I have a little bit of doubts um, because, like you said, he could very well stay at Leverkusen. The the thing is, though, I think he only stays in Leverkusen if he gets kind of assurances that a lot of his key players stay. I don't know how much he he would be willing to do the same thing again, but the stakes are higher, so to speak, because you're in Champions League, but some of your key players, like a Florian Wurtz or a Fringpong or, do you know what I mean, like, um, might leave. I don't know whether he would be cool with that. And that could even force him to leave if he does lose too many key players. So I think, listen, he's more than, I say more than welcome. He's more of his, within his own right to try and do that again. And that's try and win back-to-back titles with Leverkusen and try and do the Champions League run. But you can only hope that we can prize him away. Um, but here's the thing. I also feel like as well, if we don't get Alonso, we'll talk we'll talk about the others well after this, I'm guessing. But I think we're so Alonso, 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 like we're not really thinking about yeah, uh, yeah, I leave it there still. I just thought no, about no, it. No, no. You, you guys do make it hard for me to do this hosting. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I just thought about it. I was like, no, let me not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing too much. I'm doing too much. Now, you know the term you give people an inch, they take a mile. Or you you man take the whole journey sometimes. Bro. Bro, listen. <laughs> but yeah, man. I'm gonna come back to you. We're very much a club that goes, especially on the clock, we've really changed our attitude and gone, why should we fight for this person? They should want to be a Liverpool player, want to be a Liverpool manager. We shouldn't have to convince them more than we should have to. Look, look how we've treated Kai Sado as a fan base since he chose Chelsea and various other players who have decided not to come to Liverpool. We laugh at them, especially when they realise the grass and greener. I mean, if Alonso's weighing up his options and he he doesn't categorically want to come to Liverpool next, I mean, should we still want him? I've never really thought about it like that, to be honest with you, but maybe you've got a point. Like, we're Liverpool, man. We don't beg no one. Like, if you want to be a player or a manager at Liverpool or a coach or whatever, or you don't. So you're right. Like, ain't no begging thing. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's an absolute honour to be a Liverpool manager. So, yeah, you're right. I've never thought about it like that. Um, I mean, this is a tricky one because I'm fully invested in in the Alonso train. I think more because I've looked at all the angles and I've realised this is the only angle that's going to make me feel like everything's going to be all right. That's not to say I'm hold that that there, Drew. Do you feel like everything's gonna be all right literally because he had that affiliation with Liverpool? Because let's say in fact, no, I'll I'll leave it with just that question. Is it because he had the affiliation with Liverpool previously? Because as a manager, yeah, I don't know what it is, Cal. It could be copium, it could be delusion, it could be anything, bro. I don't know. I'm like I'm struggling post clock and it hasn't even happened yet. So it's just one of them. Like, like if I'm being completely honest with you, I'll probably need, I probably need a sabbatical if we don't get Jabby Alonso, because it's gonna take me a minute to, to have to get to know somebody else who I'm not really sure I, I, I want to get to know. So don't take this the wrong way. Don't take this the wrong way. But for a man who gets most of the players that he wants, if you throw your toys out of the pram because you don't get one manager, bro, I'm, I'm gonna have an attitude about it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but remember, manager is like a playtime ten, isn't it? <laughs> no, bro. I'm gonna have an attitude, bro, because there's about seven or eight players I wanted to join Liverpool, bro, <laughs> and they've either ended up on the injury list or at one of our deepest rivals. So, one manager, you can live with. That it, is true. That <laughs> is like, true. Drew. No, you no, but you got to remember this is off the back of me losing the players that I've had to lose as well. Obviously, you lost Bobby, but I had to lose a I had to Martin. lose these players as well, bro. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like it's, it's been a bro, lot. We've all lost someone. I, I lost lost I'm, I'm, I'm fully invested in, the, in I'm fully. <laughs> a... <laughs> what? That's not even a laughing thing. I'm being serious. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize we're doing jokes now. <laughs> 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 we're, 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 we're the comedy show now. Are we yeah. 
All right, all right. I thought you were running Joe Five like... Bad. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, look, no, 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 yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I thought you was running the joke as well. Still, <laughs> that's disrespect. Um, Plus, obviously, even when Mane left, bro. No, Mane's my guy, bro. Mane hurt. Mane bro, Mane look, all, all, all I know is I'm fully invested in the Alonso train, and if Alonso doesn't um, come to Liverpool, then I've got to get to know somebody else, and I've got enough friends. So, yeah, it's gonna be a bit. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be a bit techy still. Like, I, like I'm, I'm gonna be real. I don't really care about the summer if we don't get Alonso. It's gonna be that kind of scenario oh. for me. So, mm. but bro, right. the so show Matt, must go on. Though. Let me ask you a question. if it's the derby. I'm not even in it. Swear down. Wait, wait, deserved, wait, yeah, wait. No, wait, no, no. You wait, 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 wait. That's disrespect. Let me let let me off while it's moving. <laughs> it, do you know what? Yeah, actually, you know what? Cal, wait. I just wait, I'll wait. just do the combat roll. You gotta scrape all the skin off your back, bro. <laughs> this ain't the movies, dude. This It'll be less movie. painful than the Zerbi in charge of Liverpool. Wow. All right. All right. Hold that there. Matt, it, regarding this situation, we've got Edwards in, Richard Hughes. Uh, there's another, I think, something Buchanan, I think, might be coming in as well. You've got the guy from, uh, we're approaching the, the guy other from Bournemouth, the other Bournemouth well. Chief Scout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember his name though. The fact that we've got those players already and those pieces of the puzzle already in, in place. Mm. Is there less onus on the manager being a Chabby Alonso because we've got a structure that's so good? I'm not saying we can just go and get any Tom, Dick or Harry. But the fact that we've got all of that in place, does that not make you feel a bit more comfortable that if we weren't to get Alonso, we'll still be all right? Yeah, I think so. Because here's the thing. We're bringing in um, cheek executives and, and sporting directors of supposed high level. We already know what Michael Edwards can do. Um, Richard Hughes, if Edwards trusts him, then he's like Edwards knows his, his stuff in it. And I think another person who's part of the, the research is Will Spearman. He's head of data research or something like that. And he's one of the he's one of the people that's looking at all the candidates. And from what I've read and from from looking around, it does seem like it's a lot in no particular order, it's like Alonzo, um, Deserbi, Amarim. Nagelsmann, like it seems like those are the managers that we are looking at now. Obviously, we all want Alonso to be first, and some people might want Amarim to be second. And I know his deserve is not very favorable on this channel, but I'll be I'll be honest, not, not with all of us. I'm I'm a deserve fan. Oh, just it's oh okay. So I was gonna say, so I really respect deserve, and I actually think he's way better than what he's showing. And here's the thing. I feel like if this news broke out last season when Brighton were doing a madness, I don't know if people would have been looking at Deserby like how he is now. Whereas what he's doing now, I, I get it, but it's all that's almost a bit like I get it, like this is what's happening now at Brighton. They're very, very inconsistent. So maybe this is the real Deserby. But you gotta remember he's not at a at the biggest club in the world. And he doesn't have that same type of rotational stuff that he could do at Liverpool. I think he's a very, very good manager. And I actually think he's underrated. But again, it's not necessarily my first or second choice. It's just, if we was to get him, I'm going to support him in it. Like, because I, I think he's a good coach. He might not be Amarim and he might not be Alonso, but I think he could actually do some damage personally. All right. Just keep that there. Drift, I want to stick on the Deserby subject for a little bit. So, currently looking at the Premier League table, they've played 28 games. They are sitting on 42 points. Above them is West Ham, who have played 29 games, sitting on 44 points. Can never obviously say that having a game in hand is guaranteed three points. But if they are to win their game in hand, that means they go on 45 points, two points behind Manchester United. Well, Man United on the same amount of games. So, let's say Man United win their game as well. Man United will go up to 50. They'll be five points behind Manchester United, who is in sixth place. Not just that, they lost McAllister and Caicedo in the summer. They lost their two best midfielders, arguably their two best players from last season, and they lost them in one summer. As Matt said, doesn't have the pull at Brighton, but he was able to get players like Ansu Fati in, for example. Could you not argue? Oh, sorry, they've also lost Trossard and Colwell. Sorry. Again, 
That's four big players from last season for them. They're still even a chance of getting Europa League spot after playing Europa League as well this season with Brighton. Are we not being a little bit harsh and deserved? Or should I say, are you not being a little bit harsh and deserved, do you not think? And if so, what is it about him that you really don't like? I don't think I'm being harsh on him because I don't think he's a crap manager. Like, at, at no point have I said I think he's rubbish. Like, he's clearly a good manager. He just ain't good enough to be Liverpool manager. He just ain't. You know what I mean? And the things that you're saying about the players getting, um, get that he's losing and stuff. Yeah, that is true. But I think the Brighton conveyor belt is what makes Brighton keep on ticking. Because um, Potter was doing a good job as well. And he lost um, Basuma, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but they, they just seem to be able to have players in the wings. They've got great scouting. They're just a very well-run club. So I think that's got a lot to do with it. You have to give Deserby credit to some degree, obviously, but I still believe that a lot of credit goes to the board and the way the way Brighton are ran as to why they they also can deal with these situations. So he's a good manager, bro. There's no doubt he's a good manager. He's just not good enough to be Liverpool manager. He okay. just ain't. Hold, and, uh, hold he he holds licks a lot as well. Like, you might want to get bent over a couple times a season because I oh, don't, bro. Pause, pause. Yo, yo, yo. Pause. Yo, yo, yo. I'm on the same. This is what I'm saying, bro. John, empty this. Fun up. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, bro. Like, the, 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 but then, well, then, well, then you understand me, isn't it? All right. And that will happen. That will happen if he's manager. Like oh, what, what? What makes him better? Um, this is a genuine question, you man. Genuine question. No recency bias. What makes him a better manager than Marco Silva? The Marco Silva. Honestly, I, I I can't even say. But what I will say, because Marco Silva would not be linked with him. What would we say? Why Alonso is a better manager? Why would we say that? Considering he's mad more, as Deserby had more experience. I think he did a fantastic job with Sassuolo. Mm. A fantastic job. He's doing a yeah. very good job at Brighton. Now we've all collectively well, said we, we rated Potter, but he's taking this Brighton team to another level. Mm. Who's to say he's not ready for that next step? Who's to say he's Nobody not got more under experience underneath him than Alonso that suggests that he'd be ready for a bigger club like this? Yeah, bro, like. He lost Cucurella as well, lost Sanchez as well. I don't know if you mentioned them as well. Yeah, he did, yeah. Bro, he's lost a lot of players in the space yeah. of, like, two seasons. The thing is, yeah, okay, so he doesn't have the personality of a Klopp and he's not. he hasn't played for Liverpool. So he has those X's against him already. But if you just watch his start, the way how they play football, yeah? Bro, I used to think Lewis Dunk, and he probably still is, was this the most basic centre back you've ever seen? He's just tall. Yeah, he had Lewis just tall. balling. Yeah, bro, he's got. He had a lot of them them players there. Remember, yeah. he took over Potter's um, team and took them into Europa. They are in Europa. Yeah. If there's a reason, another reason why they're struggling, they've lost. They lost their engine, like you said, um, McAllister and and Caicedo. They've got Europe, and not only that, if I'm not mistaken, Matoma has been out for three quarters of the season. If I'm not mistaken, again, Matoma's been in and out of the team. Yeah. He's arguably like their their X Factor type player, bro. I actually think he's better than what he, than what they're showing. Um, and yeah, like you said, like if, if they win a few more of their games, they can actually be like get into sort of like fifth fifth spot. So, bro, to keep doing what they're doing and to be in and around fifth or sixth with that with that squad, and get them playing like how they are, that's that in my in my opinion, that's that's impressive. That is. So, would you, so would you take, let's say, for example, worst case scenario, Alonso decides he's not coming to Liverpool this summer. Mm. Would the Zerbi be your next one in line? Do you know what? This is going to sound a bit weird. As much as I'm praising him, it might be. I don't know. I've seen. I haven't. Do you know what? If I'm being, let me let me just let me just be honest here. I haven't seen all of, an, enough sporting to know that Amarim is the guy. Like, because a lot of people say Amarim, and I've seen I've seen some of the games, but I don't know, man. Like, that's a hard league to kind of judge, like how good you are. Like, and if I'm not mistaken, didn't Amarim get mushed up in 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 the Europa? No, I think he he lost the first leg. Yeah, he, he, he got knocked out. Yeah, he got knocked out in it. 
Yeah, because they're it was, not in it, it no was more. To a, it was to a side they shouldn't have gone out to as well. I swear it's like, what, is it with an Italian club or something? I think they I'm trying to remember who it was. I'm sure it was to a team they shouldn't have lost to. Yeah, but like a- Atalanta. Here, here's the thing. Here's the that's thing. It. I was well, right. Bro. Atalanta, Italian team. Let's yeah. not speak too soon. It, okay, that's not even really a shameful thing then, to be fair. Yeah. But, no, no, um, no. But what I'm saying. It... Uh, no, go on, go on. Yeah, you know, just quick. What, what I was gonna say is though. As much as I think Amarim is getting his credit for what Sporting are doing now, I'm a little bit on defence with that one as well, if I'm being honest, you know. So even though I'm, 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 I'm praising Deserby saying I think he's better, I can't really sit here confidently and be like, if we get Amarim, I think, boom, like, it's, like, we're, it's a wrap. Like, we're just going to be, like, sick. I don't, I'm not sure, if I'm being honest, bro. And again, like, the Portuguese league for managers is a hard league to judge. The only successful one from Portugal over the last how many years is probably Jose. Speaking of success, in it, you know what helps the channel grow, guys? Smashing that like button. We have currently got over 900 of you in here. And Matt Drift, I'm going to give you guys a guess on how many likes we've currently got at the moment. All right, knowing our community, if we're on 900... We should be on 500, but knowing our community, I know how you lot can just be lazy sometimes. I'm going to say we're on about 155. We're on one, we're, we've jumped up. We're on 198 now when I started this little conversation. This no, little guy, this you dialogue. lot, man. Uh, if we jump up, look, uh, the numbers are jumping now. They're, they're feeling Yo. a little guilty. Guys, over 900 of you in, in here, we're on 257 likes. Guys, please, can we just take one second Literally, just to hit that like button. Let's get to 500 now, please, guys. Literally, just one second, guys. Just one second. Just one second. There's two packs let's, let's, in there now. Let's get up to 500. Let's go up to 500, guys. We can do that. Trust. We can do that. We understand the show can be engaging, and it's very easy to forget. I watch other shows, and I sometimes forget. This is our little reminder, guys. Please smash that like button. And also, if you're new to the channel, this is the first time you've come across Copish, please do hit that subscribe button as well. Cal, right. before you move on, so just on, on, yeah. on the uh, Alonso thing, just quickly. I think what the difference is for me with Alonso, why I'm a lot more up for the idea. Yes, you're right. There's a lot of emotion attached to it because he's an ex-player that we loved in the doors who played for the club. That, that definitely plays a, a part no matter what. But I just think it's obvious looking at him that he's a different breed. Now, if you if you go and look at the job that he's done and the turnaround he's done in the speed that he's done it, and you think about what he's achieving at the moment, and you know he's a big part of it. Remember, the recruitment was a, he was involved in, so he picked players that he felt would be able to help him to do what he wanted to do. And the guy's actually unbeaten in all competitions, you man. Like, you know when you you know when there's like a difference between being good and then looking like you're gonna be great. You look at people like Deserbi and you think he's good, but then you look at what Alonso's doing and you think, no, nah, this guy's trajectory is great. He's undefeated in only his second season at a club that are notoriously known for not doing well, and he's about to conquer Bayern and win the league, possibly undefeated. Like, do you know what I mean? It's crazy. It's crazy what he's doing at the moment. So, I, I personally think there's a lot more to it than just the emotional attachment. I think what you can see from him um, and what he's doing is um, is kind of clear. And I, that that that's what I like. I like a manager who looks like he knows what he's doing. But I, when, when you see De Zerbi and other managers who were good, but then have those mad moments where you're just not quite sure if they can cut it at the big clubs, like Marco Silva, for example, I think he's a brilliant manager. I'd be very skeptical about him being a manager at our level, but he's a very good manager. But again, it's people forget things like that. Fulham are doing extremely well. Could De Zerbi do better at Fulham than what Marco Silva is? I don't know. So, yeah, I just think Javi Alonso is the obvious is the obvious candidate right now. He looks like the one who's up. Everybody's worried if he comes Liverpool. He looks like he's the bee's knees, man. So everyone else to me is a is a is a super downgrade on what's already a downgrade from losing Klopp. I hear that. You know like, what? thanks for that, Drift, because I had a few more questions. But because of that little dialogue, you literally just you've killed my. Question. 
<laughs> shit is bro. The only question I'll ask now, which I don't even know <laughs> we will get a reaction now. Nagelsmann, Matt, would you <laughs> would you No, but Nagelsmann's right? another good manager though. Yeah, I actually think right he's right underrated. Nagelsmann. Maybe nah, not for what Drifty just said, babe. Just no, no, no. Do you know, no, no. Do you know what it is? I think it's very unfair to kind of disrespect all these other managers because one, they're not Jurgen Klopp. We know this, yeah. Xabi Alonso, obviously, he's getting all the plaudits and rightly so, and I think he should be number one candidate, yeah. But I think I think we've been a bit disrespectful to play, players, managers, like a Deserbi who, bro, he's got Brighton into Europe. I need people just to remember who Brighton are. Brighton are in Europa. Brighton, yeah, bro, well, they were. So it, they got, they got, they got yeah, they got knocked out. But you get, what I mean, they, he, he got them in there, and he got them doing pretty decent as well. You got to remember the squad that he has, the limited resources. So everyone wants to big up Graham Potter, rightly so. He done what Potter did and took it on to a next level. And not only that, he's made Brighton to a team where on their day, we've all said it, Brighton can smack you up, you know. Don't get it twisted. If Brighton have all their players fit, they could smack up anybody. Real, real, real talk. Obviously, they have to be on their day. And I get it. Mm. He's not um, he's not Alonso. He ain't Pep. He's not Klopp. But I do think he's one of those young up-and-coming managers that you can see there's something there. Like Alonso, all, listen, all due respect to Alonso. But this is, I know just right, though, they, they, Leverkusen were known to be like the biggest bottlers, yeah? But we also have to understand it's literally Bayern Munich, and if Bayern Munich aren't on it, you just got to make sure you're on the next best team. Brighton are in the Prem, where every single every single game is a fight to the death. Yeah? <laughs> Do you get what I'm trying to say? I don't feel like it's like that in the German league, personally. But I'm not discrediting what Alonso is doing, because he had to get his team ready and set up. And another manager might not be able to do that. But what I'm saying is don't look at the others and think they're as bad as what you think. They're not maybe on the same level, but they, a few of them might surprise us, though. I'm going to be real. One be question. Real. Sorry, sorry. Even, even like Emery, I forgot as well, bro. Yeah. And even he's a bit like, but he's good. Yeah, go on. I didn't even think of this question. Let's say, for example, we can't get an Alonso, and that's who the club really want, and then we can't get Amarim. Yeah. Do you think the club could turn around the clock and go, could you give us one year? Could you give us one more year? Do you reckon he'll do I don't, it? No, nah, because Klopp already said no. that quote when he goes, they, he said, when Michael Edwards came back, did he speak to you? And he goes, <laughs> he goes, Michael's not a stupid man. So he basically saying that's a dumb <laughs> question to ask. Did you hear what he said? Did he say? He said that. <laughs> he goes, Michael's not a stupid man. That's what he said, bro. Yeah, and, that even says to, and that even says to me that there's a there's beef. There's beef there, bro. You know he that. actually said that. Bro, am I lying, people? Put one in the chat if if, if, if I'm telling the truth. <laughs> what happened with them? T- what happened with him, know. Edwards? And what happened with him and Buvac? I really want to know. The way how that statement came out and they asked Jurgen Klopp about it, yeah? The way Klopp said it was a bit like... All right, so imagine this now. It's like you saying, oh, um... Uh, did Drift ask you to come back, Matt? And I went, and I just went, Drift ain't a stupid man, is he? You wouldn't know how to read that. You could, I could have been a bit more like, nah, like, you know, I respect Liverpool, but my decision's final. But it's the way he said it, bro, made you think, like, oh, there's a little bit of something there. Like, I don't know. That's brazy. I can't lie. That really is, that really is brazy. Got some housekeeping, guys. First and foremost, shout out to Jamie Phillips Football Chats in the building. Go and subscribe to his big channel. Up, big up. I see Kevo Sullivan in the building from Talking Cop as well. Make sure you go and subscribe over there as well. Obviously, Nerby sent a super chat over earlier. Make sure you go and subscribe to his channel as well. Also, from a show we did on Saturday, we got a super sticker from El Rodri. And at the time, it didn't come through properly. And it was a very generous donation. So, Oh, Rodri, I don't know if you're watching live or if you're watching this on replay, but I just want to show you a bit of respect to that super sticker. So thank you very much for that. This is for you, bro. And I've got a shout out to... Sylvester in the comments as well. Um, 
Likes as well, people. Going to do a little like check. What are we sitting on? We're on 372, guys. Can we please try and get out to 500? We've got over almost a 1,000 of you in here now. So let's at least get to 500 in the next 10 minutes, please, guys. Let's get 500 likes in the next 10 minutes. Right. We've spoken about Alonso and alternatives. Now we've got to move subject onto another man. Before I do that, I'm going to read out some of the super chats. But Matt Drift, the next section is going to be about Trent. There's going to be some very difficult questions in there. More so, Matt, prepare yourself. <laughs> yeah, Matt, I'm going to say this in front of the whole room and everyone watching. I'm asking questions as a host, okay? Yeah? Uh, as a host. You, you do no. you, <laughs> No, you do you. You can be the I host. Want, I'm just saying. You be, I you don't want it. Trent to leave. I want him to sign a new contract. Uh, but uh. I'm asking questions as a host. To get more information for the audience watching, yeah, that's that's absolutely fine, bro. Okay, so guys, if anything happens to me over the next twenty-four to forty-eight hours, this is evidence. Yeah, all right. Shakar says Richard Key says Alonso has agreed to become the LFC manager. He did say that today, although I I don't know how credible Richard Keys is nowadays. If you want to be honest, Keys, okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. yeah, that brother, yeah, my there. man, yeah, my man. Yeah, do it. Yeah, if I, yeah. If I, if I, um, Javid says, Assalamu alaikum to the greatest. Um, try and vote on YouTube. Callum is correct. Liverpool should be begging. Yeah. You either want Liverpool or you don't. End up big up yourself, Javid. Troy up. M, big up Troy says, I've always said we have to test Alonso. Request a non Real Madrid clause that says he can't leave us for them. And if he bulks, we need to move on. That's telling, and Liverpool can't be, yeah, I'm going to say it, can't be cucks to Madrid. Yeah, facts. Mm. That's, going to, that's going to be very interesting for the next topic as well. Uh, that's, it's a good point, that's a good point. Yeah. If, he wants, if he wants, like, things put in the contract, then it means he's doing a killing, and he's just using us as a stepping stone. <laughs> Bro, you really put my on edge now, boy. No, 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 we move, we move, we move. <laughs> Um, it's Gaz um, said Matt said Nabby you we should have should have said Arthur or Arthur as Drift says Mr. Sa Mr. Dow say Drift says in my opinion if you're asked more than once by Liverpool fans um, of if you're asked more if you'd if you're asked more once by Liverpool fans I think he means it. end of maybe maybe like if you're if you're uh, what if you're no in my opinion, if you're asked more than once by Liverpool, I think he means like mm. end of like then yeah. we, we should be going for the yeah manager. I'm guessing. Um, Soren says only other alternative is Ruben. Um, he did respond in what Zabi done with Leverkusen, but I can't lie, it will be a sad day if we don't get Zabi. Um, the herbs man says, guys, is it because Alonso is an ex player that you want him at Liverpool? Because technically, he only has one winning season. If it is someone else with that same record, would we take him? It's a fair point. I don't know if we would. No, nah, but... nah, sorry to cut you drift. What you said about Alonso before is absolutely spot on. But to play devil's advocate, I could turn around and say this could just be one of those amazing seasons that Papa Cisse had and other players have had that, that one season where you go, wow. And then the next season, it's like, oh, you've been found out. It could be that as well. It would yeah, be yeah, really it, it, it could be that, but I, I would be very, I'd be very surprised if you can fluke a undefeated season. If you get what I mean, like he I might hear. actually season undefeated. Do you get what I mean? Like if you've been pummeled a couple times in there, you might be like, oh, but he's actually undefeated in all competitions with ten games to go. That's crazy. So do you yeah. know, effectively, he could do a double or a treble undefeated in all of the competitions not even just the con not even, do you know what i'm saying gerard good went undefeated as well but man i'm just no no gerard did gerard did 100 but obviously this is what i'm saying so basically what you're saying is the worry would be that alonso's next step would end up taking him back a step the way aston villa took gerard back a step because let's be honest when villa, when 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 gerard was leaving rangers none of us would actually be that bothered i wasn't saying that at all about gerard you said that that's a right. no, but just that's a fair point. What you said, though. am I lying? I'm yeah, lying. Yeah, yeah, it's a fair point. Gerard recently, bro. That we're gonna have to speak. No, but he's no, no, he's not saying that. He's just saying 
like naturally you you could be worried that the next step for him which say it's Liverpool but what happens if it doesn't work out the way Gerard had Gerard had this Gerard had a Mings in his team you know let's not forget there was a sabotage mission inside the camp no I hear that but what I'm saying is if he'd have left Rangers and either had a year out or was just leaving Rangers now after being undefeated we would actually want Gerard. The only reason why we don't want Gerard is because we saw what happened at Villa. So we've got a bad negative in our mind. Don't put me in that category. My love. But you wouldn't take Gerard now, though. You wouldn't would take you? Gerard now. You, you wouldn't take Gerard. I would. I no, you wouldn't. No, I can't, I can't be honest, bro. You would. I'm, I'm not saying I'm right, boys. I would, though. You know I would. Bro, Gerard is an boss. absolute legend, but I'm going to keep it, no, don't, keep it 100 you know, with stop, you. No, stop, 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 stop. You don't need to continue. I know how your thoughts are. No, 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 no. No, Gerard's a legend. He's the best ever. That's not what I'm about to say. What I'm about to say, though, is this, though. As a manager, after the Villa thing, it kind of did take away man's confidence, bro. Man went and brought in Jordan Henderson. Jordan Henderson said, no, 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 no. I don't know what's going on. Jordan Henderson's gone. He ran away. From Gerard, he didn't run away from Gerard. That's, he that's ran, a, fam. That's a false narrative to say. He nah, ran. bro, he ran. Jordan Henderson said, "Listen, Stevie, thanks for giving me the bag and emptying there, but bro, what you got over here is absolute trash." They didn't win in like thirteen games or something like that, or eight. Ga- it was just something. No, nah, no, nah, but you know, Gerard did take over a club over there. That's not one of the big clubs. It's not like yeah, he that's went. Why in now? Was, he tried to bring the band back. You know, like the old school man. Them he brought back. Yeah, right but, now, the but from, ones. From what told it's like the equivalent of taking over like Brentford or a club or, or, on that level in terms of like the level they are in the league so like you can't expect them to be winning games and winning if the league that's true that. that is mad they apparently went five months without a win cool I wasn't gonna gaslight you with the Trent stuff I might do now bro no I, I, if you're gonna do that let me just say one more thing then, let, because I know you're gonna I know you're gonna try and do something okay. <laughs> man says I know I'm gonna get beaten when I get home no, <laughs> I no, 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 it's not even that it's, it's <laughs> fire, fire with fire isn't it all I'm saying is this the Aston Villa thing I do think he was given more time he might be able to turn it around but what I'm saying is what's ha- what's happening with him over Saudi I do actually think that he needs to leave there Go go to a club that has more prestige and give him more of a chance. Because all jokes aside, I do feel like what he's doing there isn't going to help his reputation. Because the thing is, I'm not writing off Gerard forever. I'm just saying right now, where, where he stands in the ranking, no one wants Gerard near Liverpool, bro. Other than maybe like an assistant or something. Like, you're not going to want him as the main manager, innit? Let's be real. That's what, that's what I'm saying, innit? Fair enough. And we expect we respect each other's opinions here on Coppish. <laughs> Um, BC, BC says, as, as Alonso has shown, <laughs> he can get the best out of players within a budget. If we don't want him next, who's the next best manager to work within the FSG framework? BC, I hear that, and I'm going to sound like a broken record, but genuinely, we don't know what the FSG framework is going to be from now going forward. We actually don't. We, we genuinely don't. A lot's going to happen this summer that will probably give us an indication. I pray to God it's for the better. But we genuinely don't know what the framework is at the moment. Um, the Herbs man says, Gerard had a superb time with Rangers and look what happened when he went to Villa. I think Alonso needs more time. That's a fair point. A lot of people have made a good point about Gerard as well. He did only have half a season at Villa uh, and okay. then 10 games into the new season. So he didn't actually even finish a calendar year. He okay. probably should have been more time really i think if emery was available aston villa might have given more time but they they realized emery is a better manager so they pulled yeah, the trigger well, but time, yeah, yeah. a lot longer to redeem himself of the situation do you know what i'm saying so yeah that is true and they were in the mud before he took over so yeah it is maybe it is a bit unfair to judge gerard on on what happened at villa be like yourself i appreciate that drifty thank you bro thank you um rosamond says cow are you aware you're a very good monologue i appreciate the compliment rosa appreciate much appreciate um the herzman once again guys herzman gifted another 10 copish memberships guys if you are the recipient of one of those 10 memberships right, up, please, up, please just say thank you to herzman it's it's he's doing that out of the goodness of his heart he's not obliged to do that he's literally doing that for you 10 people all you have to do is say thank you, guys, and show that appreciation because he generally doesn't have to do that. Emperor says, been watching since the raw. 
every show. Um, been watching since the Ronaldinho ain't elite days. Every show, <laughs> I can't get away from it. Every show, guys. That's the biggest statement, yeah. Every show. Actually, there was an Mbappe was one. Deal, though, what name with Mbappe one as well, Cal? Do you know how many times was, I've said so? What name Mbappe one as well? I want an Mbappe one as well, right? I don't. I think the Mbappe one at the time was was valid. Nah, never, <laughs> never. <laughs> I said never. <laughs> Cal, it was a little bit like if we was having an MMA conversation. How angry you'd be with me if I said something like the Spider isn't even top ten or something like that. You'd like. You'd you'd be like no you've you've had an absolute howler there Drew like yeah, I wouldn't bring it up every show though no but your community would though facts <laughs> <laughs> bro yeah they may yeah maybe maybe yeah they would bro um, Troy M says yup and Lewis Dunk blocks so many shots he's very underrated he puts his body on the line like he accepted an in whoa yo. <laughs> Yo, yo, Whoa, that's a almost got me. Troy. Almost that's a got me, Troy. That's a oh, wow. Um, Jamrock said, Does Zerbi end up at City? Is what I believe, honestly. Yeah, a lot of people are saying, that. I think so. More so, yeah, more so. Um, I yeah, and, and, and let them let them be the guinea pigs, bro. Well, you say Jamrock that... says, Game Balaga talks about uh, Pep and the Zerbi's friendship. Okay, okay. Um, BC says, I agree with you, Drift. Look at what um, the Liverpool job's done to Klopp. He's drained, albeit after eight years. A lesser manager crumbles. This is a massive job. Facts. Um, yo, what's good, says Prever. Um, Jabby, but the Zerbi uh, potential is high. Think we would clash. Think we would clash with FSG eventually. His main right winger out of our all season, Ferguson. Main left wing back just came back at the end of January. Best midfield's gone. Colwell, he's consolidated well. That's a very good point. Well, I'm telling Evan you, Ferguson's good, out bro. as well. He's, he's Evan Ferguson's a baller. He is. Um, BC says, My top clock moment, how emotional he got when we won the title. He's a true guy, not scared to show emotional football makes um, how emotional football makes him. Watch yours, guys. Oh. Favorite clock moment so far, boys. Let's go so emotional far. moment. Oh, oh. it's, it's, it's got to be six minutes of following them around after we won the Champions League. It has to be. When the camera yeah. just stuck on clock for six minutes, it has to be. It has the emotion to be. with um, especially even Henderson as well, because their man would actually balling still. The it? joy on his face, or yeah. Anderson, yeah. the tears in his eyes when he saw Henderson. It was just the best. Yeah. He lifted. Mane up like a newborn baby, like everything about it was the just first like... time he got us over the line as well. Because he remember there was failure before yeah. then, and that was the one that kind. Of, that's the, for me. That's the one that started the whole revolution. It, it, do you know what I mean? Like under Jurgen Klopp. I'm gonna say something really left field. Um, when he made the crowd salute, when he made the players salute the crowd after the West Brom two two, because I think he knew deep down he was gonna get a lot of flack for that. But for me, that said to to us, we don't care about the outside noise. Let's just care about what we feel. And the reason we're doing this is because we would have usually lost that game. We've crossed a hurdle or got past an obstacle. We wouldn't have got past before. This team's improving and the crowd stuck with us to the end. I don't know if people remember that season. I think we played Palace at home and we lost the game 2-1. I was actually at that game. We lost the game 2-1 and people were leaving on around the 80th minute. And he, he said to the in the press conference, he's like, I can't believe people are leaving. You stay until the end with this club. You always stay until the end in a fight. And they did that that day at West Brom and they got a 2-2. And I think that started to change the mentality of it was, we are Liverpool, we do what we want. Forget about the outside noise. And I rated him for that. I'll always rate him for that. He, he knew he was going to get in the neck for that. And he still did it. Um, AJ says, big up, accepted into my first... Um, Doctorate program, big up yourself. Oh, big, big up, you know, I'm putting the beat for that. Congratulations, Trust me. bro. Trust 
Troy M says, Klopp on being asked to stay. No, he's not done. Can you imagine if I changed my mind now? Of course not. It'd be like when I said I'd never move to another club in England and next year I signed for our neighbours or a club who needs a coach. I rate it. He's never going to change his mind no matter who asked No, asked he's not. He's but not. It's the fact that he's he's a man of principle, isn't it? It's a I man of principle. I have to, I respect it. Yeah, Just no, Nav's. Uh, Ruben played us in Europe when we had Torres. Wow, that long ago. Is he? Yeah, might have been as a player though. It would have been as a player at Benfica because that's the thing. He played at Benfica, but now he's a manager at Sporting, which is crazy. Yes, he did play at Benfica. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He did, uh, he did, he did. Deep says, Amarim more proven than Alonso, won Sporting's first title in 20 years, back-to-back -back cups and won a cup with Braga on a limited budget. Only hesitation is European record and not doing it in a top five league. All very fair points there. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. All I hear very that. fair points. Troy M says, if FSG buy another club, multi-club, Stevie G will be the manager. Oh, I could run. That I didn't think run. about that, actually. That could, that, that's that could, that I could did, run, bro. maybe. Um, Jamrock says, anyone remember Roberto Di Matteo pre-Chelsea? Yeah, he was terrible. He was, was, he a was he assistant, I think, was he? He was... Wasn't oh, he, did, no, was he that what, what, what... After. But what's in this About, relation? Wasn't he Wasn't he an assistant or like part of the coaching staff and he took over on an interim, didn't he? Yeah, but in terms of before he was at Chelsea, I, I don't actually remember. Oh, in terms of what he done, I think he was... But what's this? Uh, I'm, I'm being silly here. What's this in relation to that? Like, is he just saying it's in general? Saying... It must be to do with the Alonso and the Deserby stuff we were talking. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, Jam. I was just trying to think what exactly. Couple people saying Wigan. I actually can't remember. I'm not going to lie on that one. I can't remember. I don't um, remember. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't How many either. seasons did Arteta manage before Arsenal? None, but what I will say is Arsenal have been extremely patient with Arteta. We wouldn't have been as patient with Arteta as Arsenal have been, in my opinion. Mm. And... Arteta should have been sacked four times. Don't don't and... just look at the fact that he's doing well now. He should have been yeah. sacked four times. Been and a lot of time. and historically, I'll go as far as saying he wouldn't have had as much money to spend with Liverpool as he's had to spend with Arsenal. Mm. Um, the Herbs man says, "Calm with you. I'll take Jared as a manager in a heartbeat." Thank you, bro. Thank you. We'll drive this. We'll drive this boat together, man. We might sink, but you know we got company. Um, H says, oh, let me read this first. No, it's normal. It's normal. It's okay. Normal. H says, you man, seen Klopp doing up normal human being over the break. Yeah, one more chance of having him, of having more, uh, <laughs> having more picnic than coming back. <laughs> It's because there's the picture of Klopp in it with the with, with the with the child. Yeah, he looks super relaxed. He looks super relaxed. Um, Tev says all Stevie had to do was keep Coutinho on for fifteen more fifteen more minutes. I'm definitely not reading that next two word, <laughs> and he couldn't even do that. He didn't, he didn't swear, bro. I know, but that's a very I I can't read. If you want to read that out, Matt, you can read that out about our. I'm legend. just saying. I'm just saying. He didn't swear. He didn't swear. I think Gerard, in the context of the game, did what most managers would have done, but most managers don't have Mings in their team. No, no, we got to be honest, bro. I think he did make a manager a mistake bringing off um, Buendia and Coutinho. He didn't leave anybody on the pitch to be able to retain the ball. And I know he was thinking he had a two-goal lead, but like you've got to retain the ball against City. 25 minutes of no ball retention against C is asking for trouble. Like, it's, it's just, he should have kept one of them on. He took them both off. That was a mistake, in my opinion. Was that the one where they lost 3 2? Last they game. lost 3 2 in the end, but they were winning 2 0 when he made the All right. Subs, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, did they not concede all three goals in the space of six minutes? Yeah. So the manager, Stephen Gerrard, made not what. So imagine they, they concede. He's thinking, all right, they, well, we can see it. They can see it again, and he's thinking we're going to do exactly the same thing, and they can see it again. But man's going to be talking about Deserby and them team there. That's all I'm saying. And that's not even aimed at Drift. That's aimed at you, Cal. Yeah? Man okay. could have made adjustments. Make adjustments. Cool. He adjusted, all right. Got a dash out. Like <laughs> <laughs> 
He's still the greatest as a player, but as a manager, he's got a lot to play. As a manager. Oh, bro. Man City adjusted, all right? As a manager, though. I, just as a manager. As a manager, he's got a lot to prove. Man City adjusted his stock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, glad you guys are having a good shot. And we ain't talking about chicken stock either. <laughs> I'll go and I'll sit back while you enjoy the show you look. Go for it. No. <laughs> it's man, you're wrong for that. No, no bro, come on, man. Come on, man. It's just, you know what I mean? Bro, do you know the reason why I'm laughing? It's called copium. Because I thought we were going to do it, bro. When we, remember when I called you when it was 2 new? I said, I told you I was going to do it. Bro, I was going mad. And then look what happened, bro. I knew I, I knew they weren't going to be able to hold on. I knew they were. Do you know what it is? It's going to new up and thinking, even, it, bro, just get the draw. Bro, I don't care no, if once, doesn't... once City got the first goal, they were always winning that game. Villa had um, to keep them out. It's it. You know what it is? It's because we. Can, if I remember correctly, I don't even. Cow. All jokes aside, yeah. All jokes aside, it was about six or seven minutes, though, wasn't it? Like yeah, it was that. a flat. That's the. Yeah, bro, yeah Is was. that bit? And then off that. Oh, and actually, do you want to know what? I will say this to Gerald's defense. Ollie Watkins. Thank you. I, I forgot, bro. Thank you. you. See Ollie Watkins. That was Ollie Watkins' clone. Because you see Ollie Watkins now. He's. He's buried at least two. Bruv, he missed. Do you remember the, the, the chances that he missed, actually? I just thought Thank right you. Now. Thank you. Crazy. Thank you. Bruv, yeah, uh, I remember that bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, I remember cool. It. Context is being added now. So you lot run your joke, but context is added now. Cool, I appreciate it. Nice one, you, man. Cool, man. Next section's coming soon anyway. It's cool. Uh, <laughs> Troy M <laughs> says, <laughs> drifting the background, making moves like ghosts. They say this is a big, rich town. <laughs> um, Gang of Deep says, evening, fellas. Where do you rank Klopp in uh, all-time Prem managers? Uh, my ranking is Fergie 1, Pep 2, Mourinho 3, Wenger 4, Klopp 5. We spoke about this the other day, in it, Drift. Yeah, during the watch along, I think we we had a little discussion about it. I'd actually uh, go yeah, I'd... Fergie one. I might I, I might actually keep that order. If Klopp wins the league this season, then he jumps up above Wenger. May even jump up above Mourinho. Mourinho, that's what I was thinking. I go Pep one, Fergie two. What? Yeah. Pep over Fergie drift. You know, drift is a is the biggest pep fan though. It's, no, it's not even just that. I look at what he's achieved in in a quarter or a third of the time, and I just think you gauge it based on like what it would be like in a world where he would be here for twenty six years because he won't be. So it's it's slightly unfair to make a judgment of a guy who's been somewhere for seven eight years for someone who's somewhere twenty six years. But if you look at what he's done in seven eight years. I think if you, because he's got half the Premier League titles in what a quarter of the time or a third of the time. So I'm just using, you know, you know, where they do the predicting things or whatever. I think it's a mm. big accomplishment what Pep's done in that short space of time. That's that's just my opinion. I'm just gonna say one thing. One thing. What you're saying is actually true. The, this is where I feel like I'm being unfair, but you can understand why I'm saying it. For me, there's still that bit of an asterisk, though. So a even bit. though, so even I'm putting him too. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and two is still two. The reason why I can't put him even one yet, even though like when it's all said and done, that could even like even to my mind. But how <laughs> what, how they're doing things, I need answers first though. I, like, of, I, of, like, of course, that will make things different. Of course, that will bro, make things different. You no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you know why it doesn't make things different, bro? Because we know how many brown envelopes were passed around in the nineties. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, Drew. You do I'm know when you know when burning when man used to. I no, reckon Man United had 20 United, envelopes. They've got 115. When Fergie went to Man United, Man United were a dead team, you know. Yeah. Pep didn't take over a bum City team. He took over a very good City team, but just made them better. Yeah, but Man U was still one of the biggest clubs and they were the most prepared for the Premier League and the all-seater stadiums. They had inside information, etc., etc. We Let's not go down that road. Let's just talk about the achievements of the managers until otherwise. Guardiola has broken so many records. He broke the hundred points. <laughs> Sorry, <He> broke... <laughs> well, I'm always going to say, he like, continue to he do broke... it, bro. He yeah. broke the hundred points. Fergie in 20... 
Neb wasn't able to do that. He'd done a domestic treble in 26 years, Fergie wasn't able to do that. And he's got half the amount of Champions Leagues in a third of the time. So all I'm saying is, I'm just basing it off of the fact that he's been there seven or eight years you and he's achieved... Champions League at City, bro. Yeah, that's right. He's got half the amount Fergie had in a third of the time. That's what I said. Fergie was there for 26 years and won it twice, which, as we said the other day, I'm not taking nothing away from him. He's a, he's a great manager, but two Champions Leagues in 26 years is really poor. Do you know what? Yeah. I hear that, but then let's, also... Let's do this on another video. Let's do this on another video. Big up Gang and Deep, though. Great super chat. I hear, I hear what you're saying, though. I hear what you're saying. Uh, Troy says, um, someone mentions one more... Someone mentioned Pit or Pitney Endo enters the chat. You know what the Endo thing is, man. Uh, Ty says true, but he had to cut the cancer out of the team. Who's who's, who's this, that? Who, who's this? I don't know who that's relating to. I think he might be talking about when you look was talking about Guardiola maybe having a better team than Fergie when he took over, maybe. Or or Arteta or Arsenal. Well, it's probably one of those. Maybe two. Arteta, actually. Maybe yeah. Arteta. Yeah. Um, Troy M says, well, where are you three on the CR7 versus Henri Premier League debate? I think we're In all the Prem? Yeah, Henri? Thierry, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh Henri. yeah, yeah. And as a player, it's Henri, no matter what league you want to talk about. Oh. No, I'm mean, a better footballer than Cristiano. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I think he's a better footballer. But, but La Liga, no, no, no. But La Liga... And to be fair, the league that was towards the end of his. No, but if we're saying if we're talking, no, we're just if we're just doing prem, Omri prem to Ronaldo prem for me. It's no, but if we talk about Henry. overall players like that, bro, it's it's got to be CR. No, no, I didn't say I, career. I said as a player, as a footballer, talent wise, Omri's no, Omri's no, Omri, 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 Omri a more talented footballer. And that's just my opinion. I oh, know, Driftman. I oh, know, bro. That's, that, that. that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> said that's melanin tax. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Arsenal men are gonna be are gonna be on you lot, but I think Omri's a better footballer. Than Arsenal Ronaldo. fans on my neck when, anyway, bro. Like, no, that, what you're a, saying isn't even wild, though. I, listen, if right, I'm being honest, you, in the are you prem, the more talented or the better player? Whatever no, you want. Probably, no, but oh. actually, do you know? No, 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 no. Do you know what it is? You know what it is? Ronaldo's career looks better. Omri, he's got more accuracy and he scored more goals. But as an actual footballer, Henri was a superior footballer to Cristiano Ronaldo. I don't know, though, you know. When I, feel I don't like even put Cristiano in my top 10 of natural talent. Oh! No, we're doing too much. He's not even in my top 10 of natural talent. I'll say that was, with chess say... any, in any conversation. As a complete footballer, you're saying? You don't think he's top 10 as a complete footballer? Ronaldo worked as like extremely a complete hard. forward, complete striker? Like. No, Ronaldo worked extremely hard to become who he is. Natural talent, he's not even top 10. Bro, man just done the whole... He's not, above, top 10. You sound like he's you're not even Actually, let me not say that. I don't, I don't want to say that. Um, about he's saying something like he's describing someone else, but... Bro, the reason why he's in the GOAT conversation is because he had natural talent but just worked harder than everyone else to bring the best well, he's in the goal conversation team. because he's got 700 goals. The hardest That's why thing that's goal conversation because he's got 700 goals. No, but bro, even if you don't think what he's that top five, he surely Ronaldo's in the top scorer. 10. He no? was, was a very skillful player, but he worked on his craft to become who he is. If but I, so we're talking everyone about else. No, but natural talent is about you just had to make sure you had the application for but what Ronaldo you already had natural talent, you know? What were yeah, you yeah, natural, but it wasn't anywhere near as good as Henri's. No, what but could, to sit there and say, you, no, but you're doing the whole, Ronaldo, oh, man, Henry I had to slack. Like, naturally, what could Henri do that Ronaldo couldn't? The only thing Ronaldo's better than Henri at is heading. <laughs> what a drift, man. <laughs> what a drift, man. <laughs> I'm not a fan of him as the character either, but the only thing he's better than Henri at is heading. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's not go off on a tangent. Omri, I'm picking Omri in the Prem though, 100%. It's not yeah, we all are Prem-wise, but... But obviously career-wise, obviously Ronaldo's had the more... Um, he's had the better career. 
Henri, if we look at Henri at Barca, won it. Done well, obviously, but weren't. Do you know what I mean? Whereas Ronaldo at Real Madrid was an absolute <laughs> animal. He scored more goals than he played games, didn't he? His record is insane. <laughs> that's right. That's what I just said. Because of his goals. All right, let me give you a small example. I don't even want to go down this rabbit hole. Haaland might end his career with more goals than anyone we've ever seen. Haaland is a basic footballer outside the 18 yard box. Are That's all those goals going to mean? Are all those goals going to mean he's mm. like? But no. don't so give why... Haaland to Ronaldo. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, when we're talking about Ronaldo versus other goats, let's not just do. Oh, but he scored all these goals because we're talking about talent. As a goal scorer, he's better than Henri, if you want to look at it that way. But we're talking about natural talent. His goals don't come in with natural talent. They've oh, got nothing bro. to do. Bro, Harlan is actually more talented than those of players. No, but, but we shouldn't be out. using Harlan in this conversation. I know what you're saying, just to kind of describe but but I'm going to be real. Harlan what... can't even enter the chat. For Are you forgetting what Ronaldo was doing before he went to, like, when he'd pick up the ball and beat four or five oh, players? Man. Step over, step over, step over. Yeah, I remember it. Loads of step overs. Yeah, it looks good. Denilson could do that. No, oh, no, no, no. you're doing way oh, too much. No. Way too much. I'm gonna be real, Drift. This is worse than my Ronaldinho take. This is nowhere near, near, bro. Nowhere near. Nah, no, it is. This no is worse. My is no way Ronaldo near. to Denilson said he does. He does step. No way. No, step I said Denilson could do stepovers. Nah, bro. I can't believe it. Man's acting, like, man's acting like all he had was a step over. Man's acting like he had he did he didn't have nothing in the You're bag. Talking bro. about Ronaldo like he's basic, what? bro. Like all he had was a step None over. None of us said he was basic. You said no. all he had was a step over, step over. It looks nice. <laughs> that, that's how basic. Man said just a step bro. over, merchant. <laughs> you may not have said the word basic, but you definitely insinuated man said he's a step bro. over, merchant. No, no, no. I'm not saying he's basic. All right. I don't even want to go down this rabbit hole. Let's Maybe let's, five. Let's take this for a members video. Let's take it for members, so we let's can. Let's take this because yeah. I could, I could, I could give you five just like that that are more talented than Cristiano, and I, I, I'm not even, I'm not, I wouldn't even leave one team. I'd, I'd be in one team. But anyway, let's move on. No, but to say that he just no. like man just said that he just step over. Yeah, I'm, flab I'm flabbergasted. Step overs. Did also could do step overs, like bro. What? <laughs> Zed said, Drifty almost made me crash. Drive safe if you're driving, please, people. Drive safe. Um, on that bombshell, people, smash the like button if you haven't already, because uh, the, the comments are going to be crazy after that one. Um, let's move on to another player who is naturally talented and gifted and a generational talent and a player that we want to see thrive at Liverpool for years and years to come and potentially be our captain in the future, and that is Trent. Heavily linked with a move to Real Madrid. Now... Spoke on this on Friday and I said, am I a little worried? I wouldn't say I'm worried. Could he go Real Madrid? Absolutely. Could it's Real Madrid. But I'm not massively concerned at this stage. I think we're just seeing a product of the fact that Klopp's leaving. He'll probably want to see who the next manager comes in. Probably want to speak to the manager about what he sees as his role in the team before making a decision. Matt, I'll start with you on this one. The Real Madrid news with Trent seems to be catching a little bit of momentum obviously him and Judah best friends etc how you feeling about it I'll be honest when I first heard it I just thought oh, it's typical it's international break they're looking for a story however there's no <clears throat> smoke about fire in it or there's no fire about smoke I can't remember which one it is but what I'm basically trying to say is this we should at least be concerned because we're not just talking about, no disrespect, we've been talking about them. A Brighton. We're not talking about Everton. We're not talking about, furthermore, we're not talking about Man United. We're not talking about Man City. We're not talking about Arsenal. We are talking about Real Madrid. Real Madrid and arguably Barca are the two clubs in the world that when it comes to trying to get players, players just look at that club, whether it's Barca or Real, and look at the history and go, I want to play there. Now, we know Trent, obviously, is a scouser. He wants to most likely finish his career at Liverpool. However, the only thing that I'm a little bit worried about is why did Liverpool let this go on past the Jurgen Klopp era? Like, players were signing contracts before. 
Liverpool have almost, not saying that we've shown him this kind of thing, but it's almost like saying, yeah, we'll get round to you. We've got bigger, we got bigger fish to fry. Bro, this is one of the biggest fishes because, like you said, it's a generational talent and the team should be arguably built around him. This is what, if you're trying Alexander-Arnold, you're going to be thinking, why didn't they have these conversations last year? With Klopp now leaving, which he didn't know before, does that mean I'm still going to play the hybrid role? Am I still going to be venturing into midfield? Am I going to be a full-time midfielder? Am I just going to be a right-back? What does the manager now want from me? Where are Liverpool heading? Who's the next manager going to be? Is our playing style going to work how it, how, it, how it does under Klopp? Because getting the best out of Trent is almost playing a little bit, what's the word I'd say? Um, High-octane football where he can spray the ball. Like, is he... I know he wants to be captain, but there's a lot of questions, in my opinion, that he's probably thinking about. And not only that, he's going to be thinking, you know, with my last contract where he was, I think he's on about 180, he might might want to turn around and be, well, I know Virgil's sort of like, whether Virgil signs or not, whether he does, Virgil, fair play, is the only real person other than Salah. But if Salah goes, who should be next in line for that big paycheck? Probably him. Uh, Liverpool, in my opinion... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to fire up some questions. I'm going to pretend like I'm the new... In fact, I'm going to treat you like you're Trent here. And I'm going to ask you some questions. Where do you want to play for Liverpool next? Or where, where do you see your position in a football team next season? What position would you like to play? Am I Trent now, yeah? Yeah. Trent, he, he was midfield. He's, they done an interview with him just quickly. Yeah, the other I know, day. I know. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold oh, it. oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, go, go. Uh, uh, He's on 180 at the moment, right? I Salah's so, on yeah. 350. Yeah. Virgil on 200, right? Uh, Yeah, about 220, I think. Yeah, yeah. How much would you like to be paid as Trent per week? If I'm, if I'm the vice captain and I'm, I reckon I'm in line to be the cap, captain, I want that Salah money. Oh, you want that Salah money straight away? Yeah, it's got to be close. If he's on 180, he's going to ask take, for at would you least... Take 250? I think he wants more, personally. I could be wrong. Do you know why he wants but, more? He's looking at people like Bukayo Saka and other big talents like that around the world, like your Vinny Juniors, and thinking... I remember now, he's 25. Yeah. He's 25 now. So this is where, arguably, he's supposed to earn his biggest money, these next two contracts. I'm not trying to say he's going to get Salah money, if Salah's on 350, he's going to ask for between, okay, maybe you're right, between 250 and 300. Okay, so would you, do you reckon he, he'd set up with 250 plus bonuses, etc.? I hope so. Oh, that's let's, go on a premise, let's go on a premise we're fortunate. He, he, he goes, yeah, yeah, take yeah, 250 yeah, yeah. plus bonuses. Mm. If he gets to play midfield under the new manager for Liverpool, he gets 250 new contract plus bonuses. Does he look at Real Madrid and go, all right, I could go Real Madrid, probably get 300. Would he would he play in midfield for Real Madrid more than he'd play in midfield for Liverpool? There's a lot of talk. And again, it's coming out of Spain. So this is what we've got to remember. This, Spain, yeah? They're saying with Tony Cruz and Modric obviously coming towards the end of their careers, they like the idea of signing Trent. One, because he can obviously rotate with Carvajal. But if Car let's say like Carvajal's playing still very, very well, they will play midfield. They are not scared to play midfield. you got to remember, I know this wasn't by design or maybe it was. Jude Bellingham was known to be a box-to-box -box midfielder. Jude mm -hmm. Bellingham has gone to Real Madrid and arguably playing false nine. There is no reason not to think that Carlo Ancelotti, the, the, the godfather that he is, will not play Trent in midfield. For example, for next season, to give you an example. They might want to play a 4-4-2 diamond. That diamond might be Trent right CM, Shumeni DM, left centre mid is Valverde. At the top or of the Kamavinga. diamond is... Or Kamavinga. Top of the diamond is Bellingham. Up front could be Vinicius Jr. and Mbappe because I think Mbappe is going to go there. Yikes. That's the type of thing that you could arguably see Real Madrid actually doing. And that's the thing. One thing I would say about Ancelotti, Ancelotti loves to make sure that the players like are really, really enjoying their football. Obviously, we obviously we know Liverpool will do that as well, but that's why I say you can't really rule out like the things that they're probably willing to do to try and get him to sign. I do genuinely feel like because again he's a scouser and he's he's already kind of said like one day he wants to be captain. Of course, we should be fully confident that he's going to stay. 
But this is football, guys. We were joking about earlier on saying about, look at Michael Owen, look at uh, all these guys that we thought that might stay and they never stayed, bro. Even, I know it's different, Torres, but we can't just sit here and think, oh, do you know what, yeah? Because he, he, he's vice captain, he's definitely going to stay. I think he probably does stay, but I'm not going to do the 100%, bro. I'll be real. Because one thing football has told me, never always expect the expected. Because it doesn't always happen. Very true. <laughs> Sometimes you need to expect the unexpected. And I'm not trying to say I'm doing that, but I just genuinely feel like I'm a little bit more wider than I was before because, bro, how can we let someone of his talent go into near the last year of their contract? Like, I don't care if Edwards weren't there and we had Schmacker and whatever. Klopp knows he's there. Klopp knows how important he is. Why didn't no one speak up and be like, we need but, to get but, this guy signed? He's different from Salah and Virgil. We didn't have anyone to do it, it seems. No, 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 but bro, but bro, I hear you. Salah and Virgil are older, yeah? They're not the future of Liverpool. He's supposed to be the future. No. So when all them... When no, we I was, agree. No, no, this, ain't going for you. this is just me saying to, to, to Liverpool, like, they're probably not listening, but... That's something that like, should have been dealt with. And now it's a dangerous game because now you're allowing other people to get involved. I do think he stays, but I, as you can hear from the way I'm talking, I'm just a little bit, little bit worried that like we can't really rule out a Real Madrid. But it would only be Real Madrid, in my opinion. When, I don't think it'll be another team. How do you feel about it, Drew? Um, as I just said, like if, I, if I, the thing cuts out, it's my bad shit, guys. Apologies. Um, I'm not really worried about Trent leaving, but I do totally understand everything Matt said. So, like, every, everything Matt said, I totally understand where he's coming from, expect the unexpected. But I don't know if a scouser would want to ruin his legacy by walking away from Liverpool. Not at this stage of his career when he's in his prime. But again, I could be, I could be wrong. I think the craziest part of it is as, as brilliant as Trent is and as unbelievable as it's been having him in the team, if he wants to go, I don't want him here. If he wants to stay, then get it signed. Like I've, I've got to that point now after losing Mane and all these great players. Like If you don't want to be here, then just go. But you if you want to be here, gentleman. then get it done. Do you know what I'm saying? Would you let him do a gentleman's agreement and come back in a year? Oh, hey, Trent. <laughs> Yeah, I would. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, I, I told you, I got smoke for you as well, Matt, bro. You lot said some stuff on Gerard tonight, bro. I got smoke. Wait, you telling me you you're telling me go go Madrid for a year, experience Spain, and then come back and finish his career at Liverpool? I'm guaranteed that they're gonna come yeah, back, bro. Don't okay. let them fool you. No, I'm saying if 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 it was an idea world where I knew he'd only be gone for a year, yeah, I'd do that. You can't begrudge anybody wanting to have a, a play in a foreign league. No, you, you can't, can't. begrudge that. And, and to, to go off your point, just quickly, he's won everything at Liverpool. What happens if he's genuinely like, you know, I love Liverpool, but I'm not looking to do... Let's say we had to do a rebuild. Not rebuild, but he's looking around thinking, oh, this ain't really whatever, whatever. He's won everything. He, might, he generally might just feel like, I love this club, like, for everything, but why can't I also try Spain? Because I won everything. He's got nothing more to prove other than he can be a captain for Liverpool and win more. That's not me saying that I want this or what he's thinking. What I'm sort of giving you is another scenario that you can't just think one way. And like I agree with Drift, in it? Like, I do think he will stay, but... Bro, these are, these are peak questions still. Thank you, John. I'm glad you came up with that analogy still. I'm not doing it. I said I'm not doing that, bro. No, but again, like I said, relationships and football in that type of analogy can't run because it's not the same. It's <laughs> not you, the same. It's not the Eating foreign cuisine and understanding and, uh, new languages and, and experience better weather is not the same as catching bodies. It's not even remotely the same. <laughs> <laughs> what I will say, though, Mane, Firmino, Gerard. All these players, even Torres, all these players, you'd arguably say left outside their peak. There's a massive argument to say Trent is just about to come into his peak, especially as a midfielder. Mm -hmm. Would this potentially be the biggest blow to Liverpool since, well, I can remember, maybe, I don't know, Suarez leaving? 
Bro, we can't lose. What? what? Say that again? Would this, How... would, if no, Trent was to leave, would this be the biggest worse. blow to Liverpool since Suarez left? No, it'd be worse. Worse. It'll be way worse. It'll be way worse. As great as Suarez was, world class, arguably top three striker ever. If not top, if not top five ever. By the way, yeah. Um, Trent's story has just begun, and look what he's done. He's twenty five and won every single damn trophy. People speak about Trent so highly, even rivals. They might have the jab and go or the jab and, and say stuff like, oh, he's defending it the greatest. Fair enough. But they say everything else, disgusting, bro. He's the only person, in my opinion, in world football that has a passing range better than probably Kevin De Bruyne. I'd I even in fact probably say it might be it's probably better. I think it is. It's just that he plays further back. So, like, you're not gonna see the same style of passing. Like his past well, progression is in it. he did Carl I saw Walker that. Spoke in it. Um, he did. really quick then, boys. Let's say the unthinkable happened and Trent did leave. Would we actually have to get a direct replacement? Seeing as we kind of come to the agreement here. Uh, hear me out, Drew. Hear me yeah. out. You kind of come to the agreement that we want Connor Bradley and and Joe Gomez to do up right back, and we've also in midfield we're stacked we are stacked in midfield not going to sit here and even do the whole we're not going to miss Trent we'd miss him like you could never imagine but could you not argue that we are in a better situation than when we lost Suarez for example who we knew we couldn't replace we didn't have anything in the team whereby we could like sort ourselves out so from that standpoint how would you guys go approach a would you try and still get a new right back or would you just put money into other no, areas I'd, of the team? I'd buy an eight. You'd if buy another eight, eight. eight? I'd buy an eight, yeah. All, all jokes aside, as long as the next manager has a very similar understanding of the way we play in relation to Klopp, we've got Joey and, and, and Bradley. We do not need a right back. We genuinely don't need a right back. Joey holding it down until Bradley matures. Bradley's already shown a massive maturity anyway. We don't need another right back. We genuinely don't. We, we, if we lose Trent, we buy an eight. Would you buy an eight and a six? I still think we need a six. Well, yeah, we probably need a six even if Trent stays. So, yeah. Well, yeah, probably. I just, yeah. I, I, I don't want to even think about the idea. Of, put Generational talents are not on the market. <laughs> and if they are, they're very few and far between. Look at like, Mbappe is mm. one of them, and he's we already know where he's going. He be get, get to that same club, bro. We can't lose Trent. If we lose Trent, we are like we've done so well to cope with that. But that's what we've done. We've coped. We've just coped. That's it. Big up Connor Bradley. But even people saying, "Oh, like Connor Black, like, bro, you cannot like Trent is levels to Bradley." Bradley, yes, in a right back spot brings a lot of balance. But what Trent offers to this team is on a different level to what Bradley has Completely done. And that's bigger than Connor Bradley, by the way. But then we're speaking about right back still. We don't want him there, bro. We kind of want him in midfield. But would bro, you not no, no, no. I'm just talking about him as a player playing for Liverpool, bro. I don't care if he plays LCM, wherever. What I'm saying is the 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 caliber of player that we would be losing. I can't even fathom that, bro, because. He's a difference maker. You see how everyone's got their one player, like, I don't know, like, Man United have Bruno Fernandes, Man City have got De Bruyne, uh, we've got Trent. Do you get it? Like, that, it. that midfielder, even though he plays at right back, he's a midfielder, but what he can do, bro, no one else can do in the team other than maybe Thiago, and we know what happens when Thiago tries to do that too often these days. I hear you. And I hear it's, you. it's just different, bro. We can't lose a Trent, you know. If we lose a Trent, yeah, I'm gonna be real. Even whatever new manager like we get, it's just different, bro. We can't lose Trent, bro. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Right, let's help the rest of these supers before we say adios to the people. I'm gonna do a quick light check as well. 500 likes, people. We are on 500. There's a thousand of you in here now, so I'm gonna be cheeky. I'm going to ask before the end of the show if we can get up to 700 likes, guys. So stop what you're doing for a brief minute. Hit the like button and you're back in the live chat. So let's go up to 700 likes. Guys, also, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. It really helps us to grow. 
let's go up to 700. If you're watching this on replay, you definitely want to hit that thousand mark minimum. So please hit that like button as soon as you watch the video, guys. Right. Can I just ask you a question to mull over in your head? You don't have to say it out loud. If we had Trent playing in the eight for us right now at the moment, do you lot think that Trent would be able to press well enough to keep the balance in midfield? Yes. You don't have to answer it now. Just think about it. I've got my answer, so yes. I already know, yeah. Um, Gikonyo says Nagelsmann at Leipzig showed his game and ability to match the intensity like Klopp if he gets our culture we might get a Paisley I'm going to say something really controversial here I don't know if I want another manager to be as intense as Klopp if we're going to have a new manager I, hear that. I, want, I want a new style I've loved watching Klopp I've loved watching Klopp's team but the damage I, I think it does long term to the players and the way our model is, unless Michael Edwards is going to have a revamp and FSG are going to pump in money, I think we have to change the way we play and we have to be less intense, especially in the Premier League. You can do that in Germany and get away with it. In the Premier League, you, you break. You will break. I just think you, just, you only have to look at the injuries we get. Um, Troy M says, Drift, natural talent, Suarez or Henri? Suarez. Only just. Hey, says CR7 has more. No, I don't think we can read that. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I can't read that. <laughs> Let's just, he just, he, CR7 has more clutch moments than Henri. <laughs> we'll rephrase it. Um, Alexandra says, um, Henri, R9, Romario, Ronaldinho, all more than CR7. Facts. Not Romario in that list for me. Natural talent. Yeah, he does. Okay. Romario. Ooh, let's not get into it. We'll, we'll do it. We'll yeah, do it. Yeah. We'll do, we'll do, I don't want to start off a debate. Uh, Rosamund <laughs> says, Prime Ericsson or current other god, who you taking? Fantastic question. Fantastic question. Good luck you, man, answering that one, because I actually don't know the answer. I, I, do you know what? I'm not even sitting on the fence. I'd probably say it's a tie. I'd probably say... That's I a flipping hard question. I'm not going to lie. I'd probably say it's a tie. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I see a lot of Ericsson, but Odegaard I think that's old, man. I think Odegaard is crazy, bro. The only thing I've got with Odegaard in big games, he doesn't tend to show up at the moment. I, I mean this with no shade. Prime Ericsson wasted his career at Spurs. That's how it's going Just like Son. Yeah, to it, to it, yeah. It, it uh, kind of, you could argue like, Kane. You could even could argue no, but Son. I think Son. Son has been more devastating to what Ericsson has been. No, but Son's got nothing to show for it, though, man. That's what no, I'm saying. Son's been more devastating. No, no, I agree. But what's he got to show for it, bro? I uh, I hear that, but brother, imagine Son was in the Liverpool or Man City team, even the Chelsea team when Chelsea were actually a a, a good team. He's a prem. He's a prem winner. He's definitely a prem winner. All right, quick question. Do you think Ericsson was ever world-class? I think he was just below world-class. I don't think he was world-class. I, th I think he was, yeah, just a bit... But I don't, I don't think world Odegaard's world-class world yet either. No, but what I was going to say is I think there's more of a debate to say Son was or is world-class. That's why I say oh. he's done more. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, Son world-class. But, that, but that's why I say, even though he was wasted, if I said that to you, it's different because I think Son is more devastating to the point where we can have that conversation whereas i don't know if we could have a conversation and say ericsson was ever world class as great as ericsson was do you get what yeah. i'm saying yeah no, but i'm, I'm not even that. saying older guys i'm not saying older guys world class but evil older guy is quality but he ain't world class either i'm just saying like big up rosamond for that question though yeah that's that's a serious um, question right? Troy M says in my opinion trent priorities playing midfield either position change or role 
keeping captaincy pay package if we don't give him midfield role he's out fully agree with that fully agree i think regardless of Klopp staying or going i think this would have been trent's last season except in playing at right back even if it is inverted mm. uh Troyum says something else to consider adidas might have whispered to him that um he could cash in with preds if um he increases his profile and right back ain't the profile of midfielder and his BFF with Jude is getting a signature boot. Very true as well. That is true. Um, Troy M says, I don't want it to happen, but Trent in that cruise role with Vinny, Matt, Mbappe, Endrick would be absolutely nasty. Their games would be on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, see when I was speaking about the diamond team, though. See, how, see what I'm Crazy, saying? Yeah. I'm telling well, Bobby, you. you could even go double pivot. Yeah, that bro. You could do you could do a box midfield. You could actually yeah. do a box midfield. You play alongside Sue Many. Sue Many just has to destroy. And remember, Sue Many can play as well, bro. Pause. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. Boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I just don't we I just don't want to entertain that though, bro. It does worry me, I'll be honest. It does worry it does me. Indeed. It does indeed. But hopefully we don't have to cross that bridge. That people. Speaking of bridges, we have come to the end of the road. If you haven't already, please do smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, we will be back at some point before, probably either tomorrow or Wednesday. So switch on the notification bell and also follow us on social media. We're on X, formerly known as Twitter, Instagram as well. So make sure you follow us there. BC says, on managers, Paisley, the GOAT, four European trophies in four years, one UEFA with two European Super Cup, one Super Cup, football program for the Premier League. I know you guys know that. Big up yourself, BC. No, Big, 100, up, yourself. 100. Big up yourself as 100. well, Big up, BC. Love, bro. That um, um, message as well. So, yeah, people, we will be back before Wednesday or Wednesday at the absolute latest. So make sure you lock in and tune in been a very good show very interesting talking topic so you know what to do guys get in those comments and let us know your thoughts the only thing we ask keep it respectful whether it be to me matt or drift and to others in the community as well it's a community we value and love very much we have the herdsman who says guys please subscribe to drifty tv he has great conversational content over there and also the sanderson show don't know the difference between ufc and mma <laughs> but it seems like he knows what he's talking about <laughs> 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 no, right, please, bigger hey, house, man. Bigger house, man. also to add on to that matt's going to be having a channel soon guys so you know what to do when that happens you know indeed, what indeed indeed stay so tuned sure people stay tuned that. make sure you look out for stay that tuned. people 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 enough love to you all appreciate you all before we sign off guys we are going to ask a big favor we have partnered up with sofa score please do download the app using the link in the description or the qr code on screen even if you've got the app already you can always uninstall it and reinstall it with the new qr code or the link in the description please do that guys we've got a great sponsor we want to keep on um with the partnership for a long time so we need your help with that just like we actually hit the like button we're asking you to download this app as well so we're going to leave you with this advert and then sign off people thank you so much for tuning in stay safe stay blessed we're coppish and we're out people take care love we're delighted to tell you about one of our newest sponsors at sofa score that's right we've partnered up with the highest rated live score app on google play store and the app store so you can access all your football needs at your fingertips you get live scores and notifications straight to your phone you can also follow your favorite competition from a choice of 600 yes i said it 600 tournaments from across the globe plus if you get fed up of us discussing player ratings you get real time sofa score ratings for each player not to mention heat maps you can see where players really affecting the game shot maps where are they taking shots from where's nunez going to score from next attack momentum and a player's average position. Pause, pause. Follow your favorite players and look through the archives at different historical data as well. People, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description and download the SofaScore app or use the QR code on the screen that you'll see now. And you'll be entered to a prize draw to win a Liverpool shirt of your choice. Once you've downloaded the app, send us a screenshot on social media or to our email, which is teamcoppish at gmail.com. Don't delay. 
download the Sofa Sport app today.